FDA security personnel were contacting a suspicious person inside a vehicle in the parking lot area of the building. Shortly after that, we received a second phone call from FDA personnel advising that shots had been fired. We responded out here, and at that time, what we learned is that there was a 15-year-old boy who was in a vehicle, that shots had been fired at this 15-year-old boy from security personnel, that the boy had fled the scene in the vehicle. As he fled the scene a short distance uh, from this location at 527 and State Route 527 and 228th Street Southeast, uh, the boy hit an occupied vehicle. It was a hit and run accident. He then went from that location to his home residence, which was about a mile from that location. And uh, aid personnel contacted him at the residence. Uh, he had some uh, injuries. He was transported to Evergreen Hospital for treatment for non life threatening injuries. How many times had he been shot? Do we know? I don't know that he was shot. I know that shots were fired, and I know that he has injuries, but we haven't confirmed what those injuries were yet. Okay. What, what do you know may have prompted the security guard to fire at this guy? We don't know uh, any of the details of what led to the shooting. What we know at this point, all, all we know is that we got the phone call that it was suspicious. They were contacting a suspicious subject in the parking lot and that their, that shots had been fired after that point. So the security guard came out of the building and into the lot to confront someone? Yeah, personnel from, security personnel from FDA were contacting the subject out in the parking lot area uh, in the vehicle, uh, is my understanding at this point. Okay. You also heard that Homeland Security was involved. Can you say anything about that? Uh, I I can't speak to Homeland Security. I can say that the the security personnel that work here are contracted and it makes them part of its federal contract. So there are several different agencies involved because this is in the city of Bothell jurisdiction and it's also federal, the FDA is federal uh, police. So there are several agencies that are involved and coordinated at this point. Can you tell us about the security guard, how old they are, man, woman? I don't have any details about the security personnel at this point. And do you know if the 15-year-old uh, goes to the nearby alternative school? And then also, do you know, was he driving then or a passenger? My, I, at this point, I don't know if he goes to the alternative school or not. I don't know where he is a student at. Um, and at this point, I can't confirm whether he was driving or a passenger. I don't know if there was anyone else in the vehicle or not. So again, I just want to clarify. So we don't know, in fact, that he was shot. We just know shots were fired. Correct.